try and be rational well, and not be like me too crazy and acknowledge that both men and women have locker room talk. I have an important question. What's up, GGs? What's up, guys? How you guys doing, man? Good morning, citizens. Give me a fist bump. All right, so uh, Candace Owens. Um, don't know much about her, but I have uh, uh, watched some of her stuff. And, you know, some of the stuff she says makes sense to me. When it comes to political parties, I'll be honest with you, they're on the same team, bro. They all work together. Um, as you can see by the current situation right now, they're all on the same team. But when it comes to America, they always, you know, fighting amongst each other. But when it comes to like that country out there in the Middle East, they're all in harm. They're all working together. I used to listen to Ben Shapiro, but lately I've been looking at him weird. I'm like, I don't really think he cares about America. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck, man. It, it's obvious, man. He only cares about his people, man. He doesn't care about America. But anyways, let's get to the video, man. I guess this is a video where Candace Owens uh, destroys uh, uh, Bill Maher. Let's see what she said that made everybody go crazy. Let's get to it. So I'm going to play a little bit of this. We're going to watch this together. And uh, y'all hold the phone. Roll it. This is not just your show. It was even my show. I think it, it, it everything was about Trump. Everything was about Trump. I agree. Right? Mm -hmm. And it wasn't, the, it's never been that way for any other president. Never, and not everything was about because Obama. other presidents no, weren't a nut mm -hmm. like that. Uh, we, we have definitely. You know what? Sorry for pausing it. But I like what she just said. See, I, I like people that make sense. Because I know when Trump won, every little thing, it was Trump's fault. Every single little thing, it was Trump's fault. And I almost believed it. I ain't gonna lie. They almost got me. And then you look at the current president. Nothing. They don't say a damn word. I think, I, I believe that there, and, and we can disagree on this, I think that from the second he announced that he was coming down, there was a media obsession with taking him down. Like, I have never seen it. It actually 100%. woke me up. I was on the liberal side, there, and it turned me into a conservative. It was vicious. It was there, nasty. It was there calling was, him but things that, that he that, wasn't. There you was, know, but that's that. participate in that, but, but there was, that Trump was, like, a avowed racist that was trying to bring back the Klansman okay. was a little bit, like, dramatic, <laughs> you know? But, but that happens with every president. No. And everybody who gets that high up in the tree. No. You know, Look at when, Joe Biden. I, I don't know how far back it goes, probably to George Washington, when a person is the one who's going to be in power, the people who want to prevent that, who think oppositely of how he thinks or she thinks, yes, that's what they do. Look, they try to destroy. They didn't try to destroy Obama. Not in the way that they come on Trump. You had the Lisa oh, Bloom please. period where oh, you had Candace. 85 million women that came out of the woodwork with allegations. And where were you guys? He's been in the public sphere for the last 30 years. He's had shows. Where were you guys with your allegations before he announced running president? I mean, it was so obviously a ratchet job. And these things matter to you because it doesn't well, matter. Well, one of them's on it doesn't tape. Matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she got a point there, right? And it came after Obama. No, they didn't. Not like that. Who said that Obama raped them? Come on, man. People make that stuff up in a Trump. Trump raped her in a Trump raped a girl in a in a changing room. I mean, what the? F ain't nobody that's man. Trump. All right. That is true, bro. With all the, I mean, you you could look at uh, all these uh, uh, allegations that that they just give him new cases every single time. There's a new case for Trump. Every single time, turn the news. A new case. <laughs> like dog. Like. Do, do you think, do, 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 do people think we're stupid? I mean, I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you, but there's some people out here that are so dumb that whatever the media says, they follow. But the people that, that, can, that can think for themselves, we're not dumb, bro. Like, you know, a lot of black people at first didn't support Trump because they always listened to what the media had to say. Now they see the BS. They see what the current president is doing and they compare it to what Trump was doing. I'm like, yo, there was peace. This president, there's war. That be <sighs> my goodness. I mean, I'm glad people are waking up. I'm glad people are waking up, man. He a billionaire, man. Them girls, let them get on the plane. They'll let them do the freaky Nikki. Quit acting like y'all don't know what's going on out here. He had to take her in a changing room. Man, <laughs> Trump, these women, listen, not the good ones like y'all. Y'all married women, y'all perfect. Y'all going to heaven without even dying. <laughs> Not talking about y'all. I'm talking about these other women that are what we call that. gold diggers. That's a real thing. Uh, women would do anything for a person with money. That's why Donald Trump said on the Access Hollywood tape that you know they let you do they it. They let you grab them by the you yeah. know what if you if you if you the man they let you do it. Yeah. Go look. Go look at. Go look at somebody DMs that that, that got a lot of money. Yeah. 
Go look at Chris Brown DMs. Yeah. They'll do anything. Yeah. Yeah. He you know what? Yeah. He got a point. Yeah. You look at basketball, right? There's more women that attend basketball, men's basketball, than they attend women's basketball. The basketball players who are women are complaining about wages, but the women themselves don't support them. Women more interested in the men. <laughs> it is what it is, though. It is what it is. These men ain't got to rape these women. Anyway, wrote a clip. It doesn't One matter. of them's right from the horse's mouth One saying, them, I grabbed He didn't say I grabbed He, he looked, did! He said, these. he was talking about groupies. He said they will literally Ro let you do anything, including grab well, them by the He wasn't talking word. about groupies. Yeah, he was. He never said that word. He said, when you're a star. Yes. That, that, that's, that's quite a leap to say we're just talking about groupies. And by the way. He didn't si say, I grabbed this woman by the P word. And I think that that's a part of what I say. And we have, there's he, so many media hoaxes. Just be honest. He said, you can you grab never, them by the P. He said, you can grab them by the P. Yeah. And you can do anything. You can grab yeah, them by girls, the P. Yeah, these girls, when they see a star. That, that's literally, by the way, just to be clear, that's a fact. But just to be clear, you <laughs> shouldn't do that, But right? you shouldn't, uh, yes. Yeah. But, I, but let's just be honest yeah. about what he said. This is locker room talk. Men right. talking about, you know, I hang out with a lot of athletes, about women that throw themselves on them simply because of who they are, and they'll let you do anything to them. But we do live just, in this, this that's what I just you know, said. Just to put economy it, of women who will quite literally let men, especially now with the birth of OnlyFans and TikTok Holy. and Rise of the Star, that if you are a star, they will let you do whatever they want. And then mm. the media pretend that he said, I personally went in and grabbed a woman by the P word. It's, it's, it's a lot of people I'm talking. Is it crass? Yes. Do women also speak crass when oh, men yeah. aren't looking? Yes. I'm oh, very yeah. much, you know, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying this is great speech. And I would love to hear if my husband was saying this about, you know, but I'm just trying to be rational well, and not be like me too crazy and acknowledge that both men and women have locker room talk. I have an important question. Where can I find these women? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Candace Person Owen, man. <laughs> Candace Owen. See, this is a woman with logic, fam. This is a woman with logic, man. Whoever raised her, raised her right. <laughs> Whoever raised her, raised her right, man, because nowadays, man, holy moly. Eesh. I hate to say it, but eesh, eesh, eesh. <laughs> it's not a good look for women nowadays, man. Men too, men have become weak too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Men have become fucking losers, fam. They don't know if they're a man or a woman. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. But what she said, hey, I, 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 can't, I can't say anything uh, 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 negative about it because... She's on. She's spot on. She really is. <laughs> anyway, I think that was a good clip. That's a little excerpt. I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to share the full thing so you guys can watch the full thing if it's, if it's even available. Um, we'll, we'll share it with you so you can watch the rest of it. But I thought that was incredible. I think Candace did a really good job at, you know, I, I can't play the whole thing, guys, because then they'll, they'll ban me or something. But I thought it was incredible to get a snapshot of it. I thought Candace did incredible. And I'm going to tell you all this. This is the insider scoop. Right? When Trump was in office, man, uh, that's when the ratings for all the news station were up. Everything Trump did was a problem. He could not walk. Oh, he did not walk right. <laughs> that's a problem. He cannot speak. Oh, he doesn't know how to speak professionally like, like a president supposed to speak. That robotic type speech. Trump is a billionaire, but he speaks like a normal goddamn person. You don't gotta have you. You don't gotta use all these goddamn big words and shit, to act like you're smart, fam. Just say what you gotta say, convey your thought, and let it go. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, <laughs> Bill Maher, fam. You can see who who he works for. Yeah, he can't let his viewers down. He has to follow what the viewers want him to say. <laughs> 